looks like a cave. father called it a change engine. It was found by the British during World War I. They studied it, but they couldn't even date it. It's so old. It was shelved till the night Superman died. Then she lit up like Christmas. They brought it to Star Labs, where my father recognized it as a perpetual energy matrix. Oh, that sounds cool. I, I thought it was like a nuclear bomb. A mother box destroys as it creates. It's a cycle of life, but a million times faster. My father thought it was the key to unlimited energy. New formulas. Cellular regeneration. But it's too volatile to control. He used it on you. I was in an accident. Should have died. My father thought that he could use the mother box to rebuild the broken parts of me with a few cybernetic enhancements. Instead, he built a living machine that may be stronger than its host. Too much. Too much life. What's on your weird mind? Muscles, coordination, basic cellular integrity. A human being can only absorb so much. The mother box was designed to reshape a planet. So? So, what if you were stronger than a planet? Your cells lying dormant, but incapable of decay. If you were in a conductive field, a boost from the mother box could bring him back to life. The Kryptonian ship has an amniotic chamber, which would be a perfect... No. Diana. Bruce, no. You have no idea what kind of power you're dealing with. Even if there's a fraction of a chance... The what? That we could raise a monster, like Luther did? We have tech Luther's never even seen. Superman it. is dead. We all wish he weren't. We don't know what state he's in. We know we can't bring him back. But this is science beyond our limits. And that's what science is for, to do what's never been done, to make life better. Or to end it. Technology is like any other power. Without reason, without heart, it destroys us. You're risking lives. Theirs and maybe countless more. We don't have time for a control group. Is it a risk? Yes, but it's necessary. Why? Because of your guilt? <sighs> Bruce, I was there. You didn't kill Superman. At some point, even you have to learn to move on. Did Steve Trevor tell you that? Superman was a beacon to the world. Why aren't you? You're an inspiration, Diana. You don't just save people. You make them see their better selves. And yet, I, I never heard of you until Luther lured you out by stealing a picture of your dead boyfriend. You shut yourself down for a century, so let's not talk about me moving on. You know that if she kills you, we'll cover for her. We are not enough. Each of us in our own way is held back, and I promise you, Steppenwolf is not out there talking about ethics. He's trying to burn down the world. The way we're gonna stop him is by using his power, this power, against him. I agree. I don't like the idea of reintegrating with the mother box. But I was running the numbers while you were being an asshole, and there is a high probability that we can bring him back. Right, right. But we mean bring him back in like a yay, he's back way, not in like a like a pet cemetery scenario. You lose something when you die. Even Superman. Maybe not his mind. Maybe his soul. I'll have a contingency plan for that. If he wakes up and you're the first thing he sees, you'll need one. <laughs>